This is part two of the Aurora AFX chassis. We've got our parts all cleaned up. We're ready to start doing some finer detail on the cleaning. We need to make an adjustment to the rear axle on this chassis. We've got too much side to side play. We want to reduce that to where we have a minimum amount of side to side movement. What we're going to use with that, we're going to very gently clamp this in this vise. Keep the wheels straight so that everything is square. And slowly press the wheel back down on the axle. Checking it periodically to see if you're getting your play out of it. We've got a very minimal amount of play, yet the axle turns very free. That's what you want to have when you're done with it. Very little play and turns free. The next thing we want to do is we want to take and clean the inside of the commentator brush pockets. Down inside of here we get some tarnish in there. Just lightly with a hobby knife take and scrape those surfaces. Be careful not to nick the plastic chassis. You just kind of want to shine these up a little bit. You get better electrical contact if you do this this way. On the other side of the chassis we have our spring pockets. for our pickup shoes. These pockets also have to be very clean because that's a lot of our electrical contact is right there. The best thing to do in a case like this is to use an eraser. Take the eraser and you want to just twist it in the pocket. Lightly scrape it, make sure you got a good clean contact in there. You want to do the other pocket as well. Clean it as well as you can. Get it as shined up as much as possible. Takes a little bit of time with the eraser, but spend the time to do it because it'll be well worth your effort. The next thing that we want to look at is the armature motor plate. We've got it cleaned up, but we need to make, clean the contact surface of the brushes. As you can see we've got quite a bit of discoloration around the edge where the brushes ride. What you want to do there is you want to take a good quality eraser and very carefully you want to polish that surface keeping your eraser flat. Work your way around the armature. You keep working this surface until you've got it nice and shiny. As you can see, it's changed the surface of that and made it nice and clean. And you want to finish doing that throughout the whole surface of that. Once you've got it clean, you want to take a rag and just gently wipe around there to get any residue off. 
Once you've got that completely cleaned off, then you can set the armature plate aside again. The next thing we want to look at is the motor brushes. The motor brushes have a lot of oil and deposits on them after they've been used for quite a while. First thing you want to do is put that in a rag and just kind of roll it with your finger to clean any of the residue off of there. Oil and knocks all of that stuff off. Once you've got that cleaned up, you want to take a piece of paper, regular notebook paper works very well, on the flat surface of the brush, you want to lay the flat surface flat on the paper, take your finger, rub that gently back and forth to clean the surface that rides against the armature. You don't want to push real hard on that. Once you're done, you got a nice shiny surface, nice and clean on the top of that brush. Take the brush and flip it over. You will note that there is a nipple that sticks out of the top of that. That goes down inside of the chassis and against the spring. Very lightly with a hobby knife, scrape the surface that makes contact with the spring. You don't want to scrape too hard because you'll remove a lot of the carbon off of the brush. So you've got that done, you've got both of the brushes done, then you can set those aside. Next thing we want to look at is our pickup shoes. You want to take a, a good quality eraser. There again, you want to clean your surface here. You want to make sure that you've got a nice clean surface back in here where it hooks into the chassis. You can sh make sure that that's nice and shiny and clean. On the back side of the shoe, you want to clean the area where the contact spring, the pickup shoe spring, actually makes contact with the shoe. Make sure that that surface is nice and clean. You can use an eraser as well on that. To clean that surface, clean it up real good. You also want to get this surface here that hooks around into the chassis. Clean that thoroughly as well. That's it for this part of the segment. Part two is done. Uh, stay tuned for part three.